this, this is Gordon Wayne Watts. I'm here at the Bobby Watts Speed Shop, and one of my father's customers is Greg. Um, and, and, um, and, and, and Greg, did you did you vote for the President Obama um, both these times, or just one of the times? Um, just one, one time. Okay. And, and what are the, some of the things that you're displeased with both the President as well as some Republicans? Well, Obama, he made a lot of promises he didn't keep. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't get certain bills passed. Right. And um, about the drilling with the gas. Mm -hmm. And um, now the, the overpasses organization for which I'm doing the interview is calling for the president to be impeached. D two questions. One, do you think he deserves to be impeached? And two, do you think it would be good for the country? No, I don't think it would be good for the country. I don't think he should be impeached. Okay, you, you're disagreeing with his policies. Um, um, but you don't think he should be impeached, okay? No. Because of the fact, even if he deserves it, or, or, or it, whether he deserves it or not, it would be a traumatic thing for the country. I think it would. What about both Republicans and the Democrats spending more than we make? Both, both parties, no matter who's in power, spend more than they make, and the little man um, is, is hurt because they, they have to print up more money. And so what do you think about both the Democrats and the Republicans in that regard? Yeah, well, they're spending too much. Right. In places where it shouldn't go. Mm hmm and, and, and there was one other thing. The president said that he wanted to delay uh, the employer mandate, even though Congress has not passed a law for this. Um, what do you think about the president trying to make law um, as opposed to going to the Congress to make it? In other words, whether, whether that's constitutional or even right. Well... They have always done things like that, the president. Yeah, executive orders that overreach their authority, yeah. basically. So, so basically, you're like a lot of common folk that are upset with both the Republicans and the Democrats um, who are rich and powerful. For example, they want to be able to file for bankruptcy, but a college student cannot file for bankruptcy and get it unless they meet a nearly impossible standard. So, so both the Republicans and the Democrats are afforded, that are up in the Congress, are afforded those privileges, but college students are, are not. And so, um, so basically, if I'm reading you right, tell me if this is right, you're like most of the people that are the common folk, that are the common Republicans and the common Democrats that are just middle class. You're up, so basically with both the Republicans and the Democrats up on the Hill, right? Yes. Well, Greg, that, I really appreciate you doing the interview. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to add? Um, no. no. Oh, there was one question. You said that the, one of the times, the first time you voted for President Obama, but the second time you didn't. Was there any particular reason why you didn't vote for him? Yeah, he, he just didn't keep his word on a lot of things he said he would do. Mm -hmm. Said he would bring the troops home, all the troops. Yeah, that's absolutely home. right. Both the gas would be cheaper. Mm hmm. He, he had, I'm absolutely upset about those things, but I don't. And even though I'm, better health plans, right? Even though I'm a conservative, um, I, I don't mean this in any disrespect to the president, but I'm upset at his policies. Um, and, I, and if he can turn himself around, um, that will be good. I don't know that that's um, very likely, but anyhow, the battery on this one camcorder is about to whistle out. Thank you so much for your interview, Greg.